Bueno, ¿qué tal? Estamos en Roma, estamos, no sé, ya sabes, cuando digo plural, soy yo, estoy en Roma, he venido casi in extremis a, a entrevistar a Quentin Tarantino, he venido a entrevistar a Quentin Tarantino, que estrena Eras una vez en Hollywood, hemos peleado muchísimo para poder tener esa entrevista, no es, no, es, es una entrevista súper, súper, súper exclusiva, y por eso he venido a Roma en un viaje de ida y vuelta rapidísimo, primero tendré la rueda de prensa, eh, con eh, Quentin y los actores y luego ya mi set con él que, que estaré pues, generalmente hasta cinco minutos estos sets de, de tele que nos dan son cortitos pero estoy en Roma en Roma no, da, da igual porque como se ve todo quemado detrás <ríe> podría estar en Murcia pero no os prometo que estoy en Roma a mí ya promesa y no tengo palo selfie por eso se mueve tanto esto así <ríe> venga Entrevistar a Quentin. Um, the last time we were together was for Inglorious Bastard, uh -huh. and I made you. The first question was um, if you could tell me the, your five favorite war films, mm -hmm. and the answer was amazing and the peace fly. So I would like to ask you now if you can tell me your five favorite spaghetti westerns, if you. Might. Oh, okay. Um, Well, Good and the Manly Gully, Ugly is my favorite movie of all time, so that would definitely <laughs> be number one. Um, okay, I'll just go off the top of my head, because I could go on this forever. I'll just say what, uh, what comes to mind first. Uh, uh, I would say uh, uh, Good and the Bad and the Ugly for a few dollars more. Um, uh, Hel uh, Navajo Joe, Hellbenders, and I think uh, Day of Anger. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's, in, it's not sad that for the youth, it's be really hard now to see these kinds of films because the changes of uh, society and in industry, it makes practically impossible to see those films. You can find Romero Marchand movies in Netflix or HBO or whatever. Isn't that sad? I don't think that's the case. I mean, I actually, there's so many, uh, uh, in a way that there wasn't before, there's so many, uh, um, uh, DVD companies, mm -hmm. you know, dedicated to uh, uh, the presentation of, of genre cinema. I mean, there's more, not only are there more spaghetti westerns available on, on DVD now than there ever was before. I mean, there, uh, but, you know, it's not like when you get a, 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 a sp find a spaghetti western on video and it's some crappy print of some whatever, you know, no, you get like, oh, they're adding scenes back in that were cut <laughs> out and you, you can watch the English dub, you can watch it in Italian. I mean, like, uh, um, you know, uh, You know, for years, like the Fernando de Leo uh, 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 crime films were just very piecemeal out there. Now they have entire box sets <laughs> dedicated <laughs> to the Fernando de Leo. So, I mean, uh, you know, to me, it's never been easier to find these genre films in, in presented in like in presentations that they there was never a cinema that presented them that good. I, I, I do think they're they're out there. Your new and impressive movie. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a sequence, the sequence that happens in the Manson Ranch yeah, yeah. with Brad Pitt, that it's like a horror movie inside mm -hmm. one, and mm -hmm. it's amazing. Mm -hmm. So I, I thought watching it, why not to make that your tenth film a horror movie? If, if I come up, if I come up with a, a, a terrific horror film story, I will do that as my tenth movie. I love horror movies. Uh, Uh, I would love to do a horror film, and I do actually think that the Spawn Ranch sequence is the closest to a horror sequence because I, I I I I do think it's it's vaguely terrifying, <laughs> you know. Uh, and, and I didn't qu even quite realize how good we did it, frankly, to tell you the truth, until my editor told me, because I uh, um, I just. I, I made some reference about the killers walking up the hill, you know, and I go, yeah, it's kind of like a horror film. He goes, <laughs> you think that's a horror film? Because, you know, I hadn't, you know he, he, he was already cutting the footage. I hadn't said we were still shooting. Uh, uh, Spawn Ranch, he goes, no, the Spawn Ranch sequence is a horror film. Oh, really? It, it, it's good? It's, it's, it's working really good? No, 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 Quentin, you don't understand. It's the Texas Chainsaw Massacre <laughs> with a budget. <laughs> It's like Brad Pitt is walking into the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It's fucking terrifying. I go, wow, I'm glad, really, because I, I hadn't seen anything. <laughs> And when I look at it, yeah, this is sort of like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, <laughs> which is as good a compliment as you can make. <laughs> Do you think that in your way of writing dialogues has changed since your first movies until the last two, three movies? That's a good question. Um, 
I think I'm, I take myself a little more seriously mm -hmm. about it, but ultimately, no, I think, I'm, I think I'm, I've gotten more sophisticated, possibly, mm -hmm. uh, and I think maybe I'm, I'm a little better at it, but, but the process is still the same, and um, yeah, I just get the characters talking to each other, and like I've just been recently reading a couple of my early scripts and, and remembering how I did them, and like I said, I think I'm more sophisticated now, but the process is still kind of the same. Ya está, ya he entrevistado a Tarantino. Bueno, lo, lo, lo acabáis de ver, me imagino. La cosa es que ha sido increíble, ha sido increíble. Estoy absolutamente enamorado de Cuento un Tarantino. Ha sido increíble, ha sido alucinante, ha sido increíble. A ver, voy a alejar un poco más. Así. Ah, sí, si estoy en el aeropuerto. Es el plano más cutre. ¿Sabéis lo que me ha dicho? Me ha dicho lo primero que me ha dicho Tarantino. Ha sido nice t-shirt. Sí, porque llevo la camiseta de Kurosawa. Emocionante, ha sido brutal, ha sido brutal. Eh, lo he puesto en Twitter, pero lo, lo cuento aquí para que quede inmortalizado en vídeo. Eh, le, le, la primera pregunta que le he hecho, le he preguntado por los cinco mejores Spaghetti Westerns, porque la otra vez que le entrevisté por Malditos Bastardos, le pregunté por sus cinco pelis bélicas favoritas. I can, but if you ask me another day, there might be five different ones. Entonces, ha pasado la entrevista y al acabar, pues nos acaban tan, son cinco minutos, me da la mano y me, y me estaba saliendo por la puerta y ha gritado, ¡Alessandro! ¡Alessandro! Y entonces he vuelto, digo, ¿qué ha pasado? Y me dice, ¿cuáles eran las pelis bélicas que dije? Y me quedaba cuadros porque, qué sé, y le y recordaba y digo, bueno, pues 12 del, 12 del Patíbulo, eh, La Gran Evasión, Para Troop Command, Tonight with Red Cali, y no me acordaba de la quinta. Y digo, ostras, qué vergüenza, ¿no? I'm, I'm sorry, I don't remember the fifth. Y hace, hace así, hace, dice, Five Graves to Cairo, tipo tumbas al Cairo de Billy Wilder, grandísima película. Increíble, increíble. Me he emocionado hasta el tuetano. No he comido, no he visto de Roma nada, o sea, nada. Llevo 16 horas en Roma y solo he visto la rueda de prensa y he estado un montón de horas en el hall de un hotel de lujo esperando entrevistarle. Pero ha molado un mogollón. ¿Cuál es el plan? Vamos a por él. Un elemento de auténtico combate. Si no lo derrotas, te mata. Excepto cuando Rick Dalton agarra un brique. Ese trasto es una puta locura. No te conviene ponerte delante de él. Oh, joder, está... Qué más que no veas. ¿Puedes hacer algo con el calor? Rick, es un lanzallamas. Ya.